Matthew, you've been posting a lot of really cool articles and insights from your own brain, uh, but also speaking about this. Talk to me about SaaS security, software as a service. Software as a service, and again, it's one of those great technologies, right? And it's all tied to cloud. Uh, you don't have to do all the work yourself. You've got a service provider out there. And we all use it. Your email provider is probably SaaS, right? Um, you know, your banking and things of that sort. Uh, you may have online file storage. Seems like everybody has online file storage. Great. These are all wonderful tools. But when you start looking at an organization and you're trying to protect data and systems and capabilities, first off, you have to understand, okay, what services are people signing up for, <laughs> right? And then what data is flowing out to them? How much is the company depending on this? Is this undermining my security controls? And is it secure? Right. Is that Dropbox account or whatever you're using, that email account, that Yahoo email account, is it secure? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Right. So there are so many different software platforms out there for every function within a business. As a security professional, if you're not understanding what's being used and you're not checking the security for each of those platforms and monitoring that to make sure that the configuration don't change, that they stay within, you know, acceptable security parameters or that users aren't using them unusually, right? You can inherit a blind spot as people go and integrate with, with these, you know, software as a service platforms. So the security around it is really tough. One, from a visibility, two, from a configuration to make sure they're secure, three, from a monitoring and then fourth, what happens if something goes south, right? And maybe it's a misconfiguration. Are you going to get alerted? Are you going to be able to do it? Or if, hey, there's a data breach or somebody has hacked into it and they've used it as a, as a um, platform to launch against other services as a lateral attack, right? Do you have the capabilities to be able to respond and, if necessary, recover? So we still have to deal with it. We don't just get to say, hey, my cloud provider, they're going to worry about the security. No, they're not. Right. Oh, the finance app. Right. That service. They'll worry about it. Mm, not really. They'll provide you tools and maybe some base security, but it's really up to you to make sure you're configuring it correctly in alignment with your risk tolerances and that you're monitoring some of the tools that they may provide you. And in many cases, they simply say go through a third-party provider. And there are good third-party providers out there that can do that. But if we don't either manually do it or do it with a, with a service, it's a blind spot. And it can come back to bite you in a big way.